Welcome, Eurovision fans! Well, it's here, Eurovision 2020, and it's time to do my very first reaction, and that comes for Albania, and it's Arilena Ara with the song Sha. So, let's take a look. I forgot to pop up my little screen here. Um, I thought I was ready for the year, but okay. First reaction video, let's do it. I got goosebumps everywhere on that one. Very good. Um, I don't know how to exit out, back it up. I haven't done this in a year. <laughs> so basically what I want to say is I absolutely love the performance. Um, the singer, she is amazing. She's a very beautiful girl up there, very radiant, just gives a great performance up there um again i don't think albania you need to worry about your singer uh, vocally at all um she has the i would say as much charisma as get bush peppa from two years ago or yonita malici up on stage she has that believability i think my biggest criticisms from my first reaction here is there are parts of the song that just need to be more sharp you need a beat you need to hit it hit it hard um this song could be truly special and truly there are parts that need to be ironed out rounded out but i love that that's a very good song and i would feel right now just after hearing it very good about its chances to qualify uh albania has been elevating its game for the last three years and now is one of the countries that more or less you're not 
scared if it's going to qualify, but you're like, how close is it going to be to qualifying? So, yeah, I think this song has a good shot. There's going to be a couple problems. I already know, okay, before I looked at the song, I read the lyrics and everything because with foreign language songs, um, I have to do that so I know what the song's talking about, so I understand. So um, I didn't go into it completely blindly because I read the lyrics in English just to see. And I don't know if the translation is correct on the lyrics or not. Uh, we won't know until we actually get the song in English. So I'll look at it again when we get it in English. But the foundation, the formation they built here, really nice. And I do know that the writers and composers here are the same ones that did Proud last year for North Macedonia, which was one of my least favorite songs in the competition. I thought Proud was slow, laggy, the buildup took too long, and I just found it kind of a, a bit of a chore to get through. But I think this is different. But it needs some sharpening of the instrumentals. It needs a little bit more of a beat. It needs... There at the courses, I mean, it has a chance to just explode and really bring the feeling. I mean, I got the feeling from this, from this, I would call it the, the rough cut, you know, the pre-Eurovision cut. But if they do the right instrumentals for this, this could be a huge song and a huge hit. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll definitely see. But I have a very, very, very positive outlook on this. And I think she could do well. She stands up there with confidence and from reading or doing a little reading researching for the review that's up to come i saw she's already huge in albania she has 1.1 uh, million instagram followers stuff like that so she's got a fan base she's got a huge back there and albania has a great voting block there in albania and outside of albania for people to be lifted and pushed so that is fantastic uh, i really like her chances and vocally, she's so impressive. Uh, she's been in, uh, a singer for a long time, so she's got that composure. <laughs> and she seemed very confident there. There were times where that last bridge, it's going to be a challenge at Eurovision with the amount of pressure that, you know, you've seen even some of the most confident people break with, with uh, notes like that that they have to hit. But I think you're looking good, Albania. I'd like to know what you people think, everybody, whether you're from Albania or not. What do you think of the song? Do you like it? Do you love it? Uh, what do you think the chances are? We really, as of now, of course, we don't have anything to compare it to, and we're just getting warmed up. But also, uh, this is probably going to be coming out in English, they said. They've said. Uh, I think that's unfortunate, but that's how the song was intended and how it was written. And... Uh, yeah, I just, I really enjoyed that. That was a great start to the Eurovision season. Uh, the last thing I want to say about it is I do feel like this is a slow burn. This is a song you probably listen to the first time. If it doesn't hook you right away, it's one that's going to stick in your mind. And I think as we go through the Eurovision season, people are going to listen to this and they're going to love it more and more and more as it gets close. Maybe you're lukewarm on it now. You'd rate it about a 7 out of 10 or something like that. Uh, you might find yourself rating it a 9, even closer to the contest. So uh, of all the countries that could use a slow burn and a strong finish, it's Albania, since they're the first country to pick the song and have it ready, uh, at least uh, the the draft. <laughs> I'll call it a draft, not a not a final draft, but a, a uh, pre-draft pre here. And we'll see what they do when they turn it in English, and I ho just hope... Albania is the one country that scares me when going from Albanian to English with the lyrics. I hope it's okay. I hope it works out. Um, but I have faith, and I think she's a phenomenal talent, and Albania's got a lot to be proud of this year. Now, I know the controversy about the second place song, Meitana. I know that people really love that song. Uh, I'll look at that song later on. I don't want to do it now and cloud my judgment in any way, shape, or form until I get the reviews done. But uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm very optimistic for you, Albania. I think it's a great song selection and choice. And my first reaction is just, wow, I really love the song and the singer. And I can't wait to look at some of her other stuff. And I think now I'll go look at some of Georgia's stuff from the singer they chose. I want to look at all the countries and all the singers 
that have been selected and kind of look at some of their past work, get a feel for what they do. It's kind of the slow season before the songs start popping out. Once they start popping out, it's like boom, 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 boom. So before that, I want to kind of get familiar with some of the singers that have already been selected. So that's what I intend on doing. And I'll be doing reaction videos for well, at least a couple more today. So look for those. Uh, to all of you who've been with me, thank you so much. And I'm ready to roll for another year. So with that said, Eurovision 20. 20 is here and we are going full steam ahead. So for now, Lethargic Sloth, out.